Hello guys, welcome to Fox Mod Gaming, and this is uh, the first episode of uh, the free to play series of 2023 in this Fox Mod Gaming channel. And this series is part of a HH Gaming free to play challenge. And also, I need to confirm you that this is a no FOMO F2P series that is uh, fear of missing out something. We are going to do this uh, at my own pace because uh, I don't want to be uh, too competitive at the same time. I don't want to be too casual. So I will be doing this uh, on a regular free to play basis uh, uh, while playing the uh, talks and whatever uh, challenges I will be getting in uh, HS2 gaming. Maybe I may do a little bit of uh, gradual and steady progress. And also may I make sure that uh, this is my main account from now on because i don't want to touch any of my previous uh, accounts to be more focused on one account so this is my free to play as well as the main account let's go and see what i have done for the last five days let me collect this day six reward that is the five star juicy weapon and uh, to remind you all of you Ronda chase is going to end on February 28. Today is 14th uh, of uh, Feb and a happy Valentine's to each and everybody watching this. And don't forget to log in into your uh, ride Shadow Legends if you are an old player or new player. If you are new player, start today. Uh, that is on uh, 14 so that you will have seven days that uh, you can complete uh, the login uh, by 20th of uh, february so you will be getting uh, this uh, beautiful uh, ronda one of the uh, best uh, attack heroes in this game let's collect this day six uh, reward that is uh, 500 energy which is very good for our progress and uh, energy is one of the best uh, things you will have uh, to grind more into the early part of the game because uh, yesterday i have run out of energy and uh, before going to bed that's the main uh, problem so that is uh, about uh, this let's go to the main uh, thing that is our orbiter missions any free to play series or free to play player should concentrate on getting uh, orbiter as early as possible some may get in three months some people may get in six months some people in nine and some may get in 12 months whatever the way you play and however you play the game you will get arbiter within one year if you are playing it daily or regularly and uh, in this uh, part two we have completed 96 of the missions where i got stuck with this rank 5 champions that is get two rank 5 champions i am wantedly stuck on this just because of this clan versus clan tournament is uh, going on uh, it's going to start uh, very soon that is uh, within four hours uh, from this video so i am keeping my ronda for that um, clan versus clan tomorrow so that i will get uh, 30k points straight away so that is one of the best things you can do if you are into clan versus clan hold all your um, epic and um, legendary heroes so that you can uh, easily go and uh, collect them once uh, the event uh, cvc tournament is live so let's go into other section that is called challenges the second best thing and the second most important thing you have to focus uh, after the arbiter missions is these challenges so in this uh, thing there are four types of things champion challenges where you can uh, to do all these things you will get this uh, epic and legendary items after completing uh, certain uh, challenges here and from this you will get a rare uh, skill tones which is very good uh, other uh, only problem with this uh, is you have to clear all these in normal this has been told by many of the content creators already so i don't want to stress much on this so that is what it is so dungeons uh, is the third one uh, in this uh, challenges 
it is pretty easy if you have the right heroes uh, i have done uh, everything possible i did not do this because uh, arc and cape will be available for us uh, every day so i have completed uh, remaining all those things uh, like void force and uh, spirit uh, sorry magic spirit i didn't able to put the heal reduction from my dervish so she is a um, uncommon uh, hero so only 50% chance so i need to find another hero to put uh, heal reduction 100% chance maybe we need to find uh, i have fed some of those uh, three stars uh, this is my hero roster you can see here i am using uh, a dervis for this 50% chance of placing 50% heal reduction but uh, unfortunately she is not uh, able to put that heal reduction over there so we need to find uh, some other guys uh, like uh, if you get this guy uh, here it is rock tooth he is a farmable hero uh, he can do heal reduction 100% so this is very important uh, he will be given to you after completing the campaigns so you need to hold one copy of him so that he will be very useful for uh, clearing that uh, task actually i forgot about that task and i have fed him for the uh, kale five star or four star so that is how about it uh, nothing uh, there is no issues we may get some uh, other lucky pulls uh, i am holding all uh, ancient shards because there is no 2x event i recommend all of you to go for 2x events uh, last time i have pulled two of my void shards uh, in the 2x event and uh, got uh, lucky enough to get um, my uh, where is she umbral enchantress and also this guy he is not so good uh, but i am happy with umbral uh, umbral is not uh, so great when she was uh, there in 2019 uh, slowly she got uh, fallen off uh, due to new players with new abilities and kits so still she is very good for faction wars some doom tower uh, waves you can control so she is a very good control still now if you can use her very well uh, even in spiders uh, waves and dungeon uh, waves like um, ice golem uh, spider and uh, other things like uh, fire knight uh, during the waves you can use her so that is about uh, umbrella enchantress so i am doing my dailies you can see here all my dailies are completed uh, for the last few days today we have started fresh so that is about it uh, uh, advanced uh, quest are not unlocked until uh, level 35 we are into level 31 forge has unlocked uh, for me yesterday but i am holding all my resources you can see here uh, i am waiting for this uh, perception gear so a lot of uh, material is there to go for four star or five star artifacts uh, just because of this uh, cvc again so cvc is very important so i am holding back all of my epic uh, and um, there are only two epic books but i have used all my rare books to book my kale because i want to progress into the campaign so uh, remaining all these seven are uh, just uh, keeping aside uh, maybe i may use uh, for uh, apothecary if i can get him or maybe uh, any other uh, good rares if i can get so we got this uh, gembo the desired from the amazon prime so you can also get him before uh, 2nd march uh, so better you can get him by 28th uh, uh, february or a month ending of uh, february that will be very good so that uh, one of the best uh, new cars and uh, one of the best arena wide champs you will be getting through amazon prime rewards uh, and uh, here it will pop up for you so i have collected it so it is there for uh, second march up to second march you can collect it and uh, about it uh, um, coming back to market i didn't unlock all the spaces yet so when there is a ancient shard appearing in these two columns then i have to use this 120 gems maybe till then i will be not using any of my gems coming back to gems i have used 250 of my gems to create my own clan uh, that is uh, fmg f2p fmg stands for fox mode gaming 
F2P, so free to play. This clan is created especially for this uh, Hellheads uh, F2P challenge, but everybody can join in future. But uh, as of now, it is only four days old uh, clan, but we have got already 30 of our members and uh, most of them are uh, active. You can see here, there is only one or two people who are not active for 24 hours. So pretty active clan, you can join over there. Coming back to this um, great hall bonuses. Unfortunately, we have to do all these things uh, due to the challenges. So once you do the level one of these attack uh, uh, the things, uh, you can go for either uh, crit damage or accuracy. But uh, for my stage, I have already unlocked uh, forge now. So I will be getting uh, perception gears uh, pretty regularly now. So maybe I am thinking uh, not to use uh, accuracy, maybe crit damage because of uh, the rarity it has and also uh, most of the attack uh, heroes will scale up pretty well with crit damage and you can focus more on crit uh, rate once uh, this is uh, developed. So resistance is also not bad but uh, it is an end game but you can get resistance artifacts and uh, you can get resistance uh, substats pretty well so i think uh, accuracy crit damage any two of these will be very good for the starters let's go to tournaments tournaments i have finished uh, my first ever tournament to novice tournament uh, at uh, top three position because um, i don't want to compete much into uh, as i told this is not a fomo based uh, free to play because i don't want to stress must uh, the first reward you will give you uh, what you call ancient uh, shard second one will give you 75 gems but uh, the second uh, position and third position are pretty uh, different for me so I, I have tried for the second to get 75 of those gems but unfortunately at the last moment i didn't uh, finish it so went for the third position in that uh, novice tournament and uh, uh, in this uh, fire net tournament you can see here i am not doing much only 21 points but still i am there in the first position that is how i am playing now i am not stressing much just doing my dailies i have done my five dungeons yesterday uh, in uh, fire night uh, if there is a task or something else if you want then you can go and uh, do but preferably in the early part of the game i will recommend you to go for this tournaments and events because these are very easy tournaments for the first uh, uh, what you called uh, 30 days maybe up to you hit uh, level 50 or level 40 plus so before that uh, it will be very easy for uh, you to complete uh, tournaments just because uh, uh, there is uh, some of these relentless uh, pieces will come for some tournaments so those uh, relentless uh, artifacts will be very useful for now this tournament doesn't have the artifacts so that's why i think uh, nobody is uh, uh, going uh, very hard for this and also this fusion is not so great that uh, legendary is not so great so that is also another reason and also there is uh, this uh, traditional fusion going on you need to get a uh, lot of uh, rare heroes that is 16 of them to fuse four epic champions and then fuse the uh, legendary so it needs a lot of uh, potions that's why people are not so interested we got two copies of him uh, just by playing daily so and coming to clan uh, classic arena takedown here also you can see here i am doing my five daily uh, arena plus a few of uh, other uh, easy uh, fights just because we need to develop our great hall so that is a mandatory mandatory thing you have to do so as to accumulate all these things uh, that is uh, about our um, arena i am into silver one uh, after these four days so we are f facing with this uh, very simple and a very uh, free to play friendly team you can uh, easily get spirit host uh, you can uh, if you can grind uh, that um, campaign location where you can get spirit host and diabolist also you can get from 12 uh, chapter 12 
so chapter 12 you will be always grinding so getting diabolist is not a big issue so that is my simple enough team and see that uh, you have to choose the easiest possible teams and uh, just burn your um, keys uh, here so that you, you are not wasting your uh, this uh, arena tokens so that uh, it will be always uh, refreshing for uh, every few minutes that is uh, every one hour or so so that is about arena and you can also refresh it uh, if you want and uh, 35 level you will get this uh, tag team arena so a lot of things will be getting after uh, 11 level 40 you need to focus on doom tower so uh, once you get into higher levels you have to focus more things you have to spread all your uh, resources different things so before that you have to finish all these things that is faction wars uh, two more days for uh, beginner players you will have seven days to grind all your things in the faction wars so that is the best time you can uh, grind as high as possible with uh, kl i am going to do this uh, level uh, six days so that is not a big issue because he is my starter charm and uh, here today we got a barbarian uh, thing so we got one two three four of them and you can also use this as a duplicate uh, if you can use a fodder team uh, maybe level 20 team uh, you can easily finish uh, stage one pretty easily with this team so you can also do stage 2 if you are uh, good uh, enough with the uh, gears on dervish but i don't want to take risk and all and uh, here you can do the stage 1 with these 4 with level 20s and level 30s you can go for stage 3 or uh, 2 and higher because going to higher stages will be you will be focusing or facing lot of uh, tough guys so stage one will give you still uh, one uh, star glyph which is very good nothing uh, better uh, than one star glyph at the earlier stages i am not doing this uh, dj marsa as of now if anybody wants to help me so you can uh, take my referral uh, link uh, which will be given in the description column so please do help me so that i can get uh, my free dj marsa and these juicy rewards uh, by playing level 30 and if you can play up to level 50 then i will be more than thankful for you for the three guys who will be playing for me so you will be getting some good rewards after level 50 maybe some giveaways i will plan for that too in the future that is about the quest missions challenges uh, which we have done for the last five days in this free to play series and uh, um, that is about uh, my team there is nothing much fancy about this team because we are very early into the game so i didn't use my masteries on my kel uh, i am holding back uh, all these gems for uh, ronda tomorrow so she will be having all the 800 uh, gems for full mastery and i will be doing my ro ronda as my first six star because uh, previously i played ronda on my other account and she is so phenomenal with um, her abilities uh, she can do the campaign easily with uh, uh, 15 to 30 seconds in that account i did uh, the fastest run was 12 seconds so she is a very good campaign farmer so don't underestimate her she is very good in dungeons she is also very useful for clan boss so she is an all rounder so uh, i think uh, i am going for ronda until and un unless if i get any 2x event before that uh, or uh, uh, if there is uh, any other uh, uh, hero i may to pull better than her in this ancient shots which is uh, quite impossible uh, maybe pure rng base but still that is how it is going and we are going to focus on high cartoon after 30 days uh, for the speed lead in arena with uh, gembo the dishonored uh, we have uh, deacon on armstrong so pretty good for uh, every game mode so already i have a core team in the form of uh, kale deacon ronda and um, maybe two others uh, mix match for arena i be i will be using uh, gembo definitely with uh, Deacon, Kale and Ronda probably uh, Ronda is a guaranteed addition uh, 
so ronda deacon and uh, gembo will be there for arena and uh, maybe i will be replacing kale uh, in the future with uh, what i can get with the ancients uh, and also from the sacred sets in future uh, for uh, now i think uh, spirit host will be there up to i get uh, high cartoon so that uh, high cartoon will replace her or even apothecary also very good um, alternative to be there in this arena group our uh, artifacts looks very simple nothing much fancy about it we got all the artifacts which we got from the login events or from the dungeons you can see yesterday i formed a few dungeon uh, tasks because we need to get four star or five star artifacts from dungeons that is one of the tasks so we got these three three star very uh, cute uh, one because uh, we got a speed uh, substat hp substat or uh, resistance which is not bad for early game and uh, that is a toxic set uh, so if i get uh, four of these uh, pieces with some good substats maybe i can use on ronda if i get a four star or five star ones so that her uh, uh, default skill be used for that uh, purpose but 100% i will be using uh, life steal because he want to form the campaign so uh, let us see what we can roll for this uh, uh, piece which is a five star one uh, which uh, is very important so i will keep it i will not equip it uh, for my kill as of now because uh, uh, tomorrow we are going to get the ronda and don't want to use this 20000 silver just for one day so I, I, for now he is looking pretty good with this set and you can also see this will overcap his crit uh, rate he is already having a overlap of uh, 75 means 25 it is uh, 70 83 percent so it is uh, 8 percent more uh, of what he require so adding 10 more is not good so I am not using on him. Maybe I can use on Deacon or uh, maybe on this guy just for some time mm, to get the uh, clan boss score going for uh, now. Maybe on other heroes also you can use uh, these are all. Uh, whenever I got a new hero I just put uh, uh, random gears on them. You can see every gear is not good. Uh, these are all uh, different types of gears on different people. And you can see the gimbo i just want to get into 140 speed just i throw some of these gears which have got all the substats so whenever you got uh, any piece you have to see that uh, if there is a speed substat on every possible gear you are putting on your speed heroes and uh, that will help you in the arena so as he is a arena based hero he is the most uh, uh, useful for arena so i got this from the dragon yesterday uh, this is not so good with a flat attack i may get uh, lucky if i can roll on these two but i don't want to test uh, risk as of now because my silver is very low instead of attack flat i got this hp percent which is very useful for his survivability even in dungeons i can use him so you can see his ratings uh, not only in offense he is also used for faction wars also companions you can use him as a magic keep uh, for the uh, skill where he can uh, remove the debuffs or buffs sorry he can remove the buffs so that is a very good skill for magic keep he can uh, remove the uh, nasty steel uh, seals from that uh, boss spirit keep also same thing uh, he will uh, block the uh, sorry he will not uh, make sure he will make sure that uh, she is not healing i think uh, this is the skill uh, second skill chance of decreasing the duration of all bobs by one turn this effect cannot be resisted on critical hits as he is a wide hero so he is very good against every bosses each it uh, this is the one steals any uh, increase attack buffs each also chance of uh, stealing one random buff so this will help you in magic uh, keep because he it hits uh, two times so i think he is very good uh, to book but he loves to read lot of books so many books for his uh, a1 and a2 
these are the only two books i think uh, very good if you can get it this is not bad either with a three ton cool down so he loves to book i don't know whether he uh, he needs uh, books or not as of now but for now i am using my books on this guy he is a champion and i want to land these two books uh, definitely and then uh, this is also not bad actually it, uh, it will go for three turn cooldown so that will be very good so my main priority is uh, deacon for now so today I, uh, when the cvc starts i will use those two books which i have already got so that is uh, about my books and champions and that is my progress for the last five days in this uh, ride shadow legends free to play series and also the f2p challenge which is going on in 2023 thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and comment with your awesome friends and if you are new to this fox mode gaming channel you can uh, see the videos uh, related to infinite magic ride ride shadow legends and also eternal evolution games and also i will be doing a lot of uh, game content uh, regarding uh, different games which i play and like uh, the most so uh, please do subscribe to this channel if you like this channel's uh, content and uh, thank you so much and happy gaming